Welcome, this is Reg and I. I will be teaching you guys how to make or how to cure, in this case, your molcajete, okay? This is a brand new molcajete I bought today and it needs to be cured. The way to cure it is by first getting grains of rice. Also, you're going to need apple cider vinegar and we will be boiling it in a, we will be boiling our molcajete in a pot, okay? Also, we will also be grinding salt, coarse, kosher salt on this. Normally, what people do is they will use sea salt, okay? But I have coarse salt in this case. An interesting fact about the molcajete is that it's a prehistoric blender. But it's not just a prehistoric blender because the, the reason why, it's not the only reason why, but the reason why we continue to use this tool is because just like people have their grills and they will use their ribs on grills, their steak on grills, their chicken on grills, right? They will cook their chicken, their meat on grills. Why? Because it gives it that smoky flavor, right? The grills give it that smoky flavor. Well, that's the reason why we still use el molcajete because the molcajete will give it that natural, naturey flavor, okay? This molcajete is made out of basaltic, volcanic basalt, okay? And because of that, it is a natural rock that takes thousands of years to make. Another point is that because it is a volcanic rock, okay, it is going to be a pricey tool to buy, okay? And it's pricey because it takes the miners approximately two days to get the rock out of the place that they're digging it from, okay? And then they have to obviously cut it. Okay, so that we are able to make our delicious salsa at home. I was reading in the Google section um, a website that was one of the top algorithms that was saying that if it has holes, you know, inside that it's low quality. Well, guess what? They're wrong. Okay. A new molcajete will have holes and you have to cure it. If you don't cure it, then yes, it's going to be unhealthy for you to eat. That's why you have to cure it. So that way you prepare it and you are able to eat it. You are able to make food, whatever food you want, okay? Molcajete is a great way to, you know, cook many things. You can also, people will use this also inside their ovens okay that's how versatile this cooking tool is okay we can make delicious salsa on it okay the salsa that you use to make on this molcajete will have a very very distinct flavor than if you would use a regular blender okay also um the, that's the reason why you cure it you cure it because you need to take all that little rocky flavor from it and the little pieces of rock because if you don't cure it then you're going to be tasting little pieces of rock okay uh, this is brand new and i have to cure it okay it's not an easy process okay you have to have patience okay it's going to take approximately three to four hours to cure it okay because of all the process the grinding okay some people will go even deeper. They'll, they'll use corn, okay, dry corn. They'll use um, beans, okay, if uh, there's no rice, okay. But it's, uh, for instance, in my case, I will be using rice. There's another point that I would like to make, okay. It's very important that you buy the original volcanic basalt rock right for your molcajete because there are imitations out there 
and there are low qualities. If you get the low quality ones, you will not be able to make your salsa in it. The low quality ones are cheaper, but you will not be able to make your salsa in it because it will um, consist of cement. And because it consists of cement, then you won't be able to make your salsa in it because it will turn gray every single time you try to make your salsa on the molcajete. So you need to use the original one, okay? And that's why the original ones are pricey, okay? Uh, when you wet it and you soak it, it's going to turn black. Right now it's gray, okay? So don't forget, when, when you wet it and it's cured, it's going to be black. Okay, right now it looks kind of gray, but if I wet it, it's going to be black. That's also how you know it's the original, okay? Okay, so I have my bag of rice, okay? I have a small one, okay? So I'm going to use a lot of rice, okay? This one costed me approximately $45. Okay, okay. so here's my rice, okay? And um, mine costed $45 and the reason why is because it is imported from Mexico, okay? I don't know how much it would cost over there, but that's how it cost it over here. Okay, so let's get ready. Okay, I was told that I need to be very patient.
will now grind six garlic cloves. process but it's worth it because your salsa is going to taste a lot better if you make your salsa with el molcajete okay, and if you like the way I cleaned the molcajete don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notification bell <laughs> 